came to paint a mural that depicted the elite banker cartel, known as the Rothschilds, Rockefellers, Morgans, the ruling class elite few, the Wizards of Oz. They would be playing a board game of monopoly on the backs of the working class. The symbol of the Freemason pyramid rises behind this group, and behind that is a polluted world of coal burning and nuclear reactors. I started noticing that the people were giving me some strange looks. Suddenly a car pulled up and some dudes got out. Some kids from across the street walked up and everybody's asking me, why am I painting this sign of the Illuminati in their neighborhood? And do I believe in Satan? I was feeling some serious heat and anger from them. I said I was creating this piece to inspire critical thought and spark conversation. I heard fucking American said, and fuck the Illuminati. They said my mural wouldn't last till the morning and I should just quit now. I continued to express my intent, but they were not trying to hear me. I felt that I was all alone, but I continued to paint when another larger group approached with older men and women, telling me to cross it out, and this is the symbol that has hunted their people down for over a thousand years. So much passion, and they were very versed in the taboo subject of a secret government, banking cartel, and that they didn't quite get me. I explained my mural and how these elite few were living easy lives on the backs of the working class. I wasn't in promotion of these thieves. They said then write something on the wall to convince us that you mean what you say. I walked over and wrote the New World Order is the enemy of humanity. They started talking and I couldn't understand. A few walked away, a few said okay, and some stayed and talked with me about our money system and how they see us Americans. It wasn't directed at me as much as it was shared. I had no idea this was going to be such an intense experience from the get-go and still running. The next day I painted the banker's end with the playing board and noticed people were becoming more curious. Some of the people from the day before were saying hello. A few said good job. My third day I got the working class holding up the game board painted in and the people were smiling saying how much they were enjoying its evolution. They were getting it. This was empowering and it gave me fuel to work out the meticulous details. The whole adventure was very draining but suddenly my energy was back. Come the fourth day there was a street fest going on and the people were engaging with me with total knowledge of the subject matter of my girl. Older white men to young Muslim children were talking to me, explaining how us Americans spend beyond our means and how we don't understand what our military does around the world. Our money is worth nearly half of theirs. For America to fall, all the world has to do is nothing, and an economic war can be waged and won. A lengthy conversation of post-9-11 America and foreign policy. My mind was blown. This experience transformed my whole understanding of the game. I finished my mural, and I drank a beer, smoked a joint, and conversed with the people. My dream to paint a mural that would rally people together and inspire conversation of things that matter was just realized. It was a bit humbling and emotional. I feel very close to all the people I met at the Shortage District and Brick Lane. These people share their lives and thoughts with me unfiltered. We are all Earth people.